Now in Cape May County, viewers spotted a tornado as it went through Strathmere and Marmora. This funnel cloud was captured by Tina Leonard Casey. The National Weather Service has confirmed this was indeed a tornado. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo has been down the shore all day and he joins us now from Cape May with the aftermath. Matt. Yeah, pretty incredible video there, Yuki, you know, because it turned out to be a gorgeous day here in Cape May. It's a beautiful sunset behind me here at the Cove. Uh, but, you know, earlier today we saw widespread damage from here in Cape May to Sea Isle and Ocean City. Oh, my God. Okay, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Watch as whipping winds peel off part of the roof to this home here in Ocean City Tuesday. Debris seen flying everywhere, and so does a chunk of the roof before the wind then knocks it into the side of the next door home and onto the ground. Nearby at 32nd and Central, strong wind gusts push the steeple off the Central Ocean City Union Chapel, but it's mostly in one piece, and crews were able to secure it. Over at Fish Alley in Sea Isle City, the storm snapped this utility pole. People seen running for safety as it collapses. In Wildwood, the wind decimated part of the roof at the Brittany Motel. At Cape May Point, choppy waters surrounded the SS Atlantis, an experimental concrete ship that sunk shortly after World War I. But the storm was no match for this American flag that stood firmly in place. Meantime, nearby, a tree branch came crashing into a woman's roof and through her ceiling. After that, we just heard gushing of water right on the carpet, and it was, it was wicked bad. Now, fortunately, uh, we didn't hear about any injuries from that or any other event today uh, during all the damage down the shore. And wow, would you look at this view? Beautiful blue skies, the sun glowing in the water as we look at the Cape May uh, lighthouse here uh, from the, the point of the Cove Beach. It's a gorgeous day. It turned out to be a really lovely evening here at the shore. My feet are in the sand. My swimsuit is on and uh, it's pretty incredible a turn of events. Reporting live in Cape May, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Boy, it sure is the power and the beauty of Mother Nature. Wow. Okay, Matt, thanks so much.